recording. See, it says record up there. Okay, what we're going to talk about is the temporal sphenoidal line. Temporal sphenoidal line starts right here where the maxillary arch is, and it goes right. You have all these little reflex points above the arch, and they're connected to different muscles throughout the body. Now, here's the orbit of the eye. And the line continues up here along the orbit of the line. And then right here you have a suture between cranial bones, between the temporal and the frontal bone. And it goes right along here. And back here, and this is where the line ends. Okay? So what I'm feeling for is tenderness or swollen parts. And it's more swollen on her left. Okay than her right. Now the point I'm touching closest to the ear is a point, it's a reflex that connects to the psoas muscle. Now it's fine on this side, but on this side it's tender. So I'm going to come down here and check the psoas muscle to see if my diagnosis is correct, that there's a blockage there. So push up hard. And she has no strength in the psoas muscle. Now let's check the other side push up hard, that side's good. Now, because the muscle is weak, it's weak due to either a neurovascular problem, which you have neurovascular reflexes all over your head, or it could be a neurolymphatic problem, which is located about right here, or those are also lymphatic drainage points, or it could be an acupuncture point, which is back here, the alarm point for the kidney, which, by the way, the psoas muscle is related to the kidney, okay? Or it could be a nutritional deficiency, maybe you're deficient in vitamin A, or it could be an emotional problem. So those are five different things that it could be. So let's just see what it would be. So push up hard, okay, it goes weak. The first thing we're going to check is <coughs> the neuro vascular reflex, which is on the back of the head. So just put your hand on the back of the head, lay your head down, and let's check it again. Push up hard. That's not it. Now touch the neurolymphatic point. Where's your belly button? Okay, you're going to touch right here, one inch above the belly button, one inch over. And push up hard. That's not it either. Now you touch the alarm point for the kidney meridian, push up hard, and that's it. And the other thing you could think of is think of eating some something with vitamin A in it. What has vitamin A in it? Carrots. carrots. Okay, think of eating carrots, but don't touch that. Carrots, got it? You're deficient in vitamin A, beta carotene. Okay. Because that also turned it off. Um, it could be emotional. Touch your fourth finger and your thumb. Push up hard. It's also emotional. So we have three things that you need to focus on. You're getting insufficient vitamin A or beta carotene. Um, there's an emotional block somewhere in the meridian. And, um, and it was kidney, which means down here if the kidney alarm point, the point right here on the leg, oh, yeah, and it's yeah. really tender. So you'd want to put patches here and also here. Now you could put the SP6 patch here because it's on the left side and the SP6 patch is for the left side. Okay. So, um, um, because it could be, oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's just one muscle, that's the psoas muscle. Don't make me laugh. So we go on up, there's the psoas, psoas, now we're getting into the sartorius, the sartorius is still a little weak, the sartorius is related to the adrenal glands. So bring your knee up, drop the leg out, and you're going to pull the foot in while I pull it, and that's weak. So I would go with an SP6 patch, because okay. putting an SP6 patch there would fix it, um, because your adrenals are also connected to all of this. So if we put an SP6 patch there, it'll probably um, take a lot of this tenderness away that's on this line.
Now if we go up higher, now we're getting into the pectoralis major muscle. Now we're getting into the iliacus muscle, the gluteus medius. Um, probably eon too, because this is your ileocecal valve. Um, so you got some digestive issues going on. Okay. So let's get a, an SP6 patch and put it on it. Should I just pause this? Pause it. You want to pause it?